Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today, we are told to draw a regular pentagon with sides 30 mm long and construct its involute. Now, what is a pentagon? A pentagon, a regular pentagon is a polygon that is bounded by five equal lines, right? Now that means in this video, we'll be learning on how to construct a pentagon and also on how to draw it in volutes. Now let's start. We are given a length of um, we are given a length of 30 mm. So what we are going to draw, we are going to draw an horizontal line this way. You can see that. So on that line, we'll mark a point, any point of our choice. Let's say the point I'll mark will be here, right? And let me call that point, point what? Point A, right? So point A. Now I'll take my meter rule. Let me zoom it up a little bit. Right, so I'm going to take a meter rule from that point A. I'm going to mark 30, so it meaning that from A to 3 is 30, right? And I'm going to what taking it. So this is A, then that, that point will be what B is that again. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'll pick up my compass with radius what? A, B. You can see that? With radius what? A, B. I'm going to draw a circle this way. I'll draw a circle with radius A, B. I'll draw a circle. To just what AB, faint line. Can I see that? And I also come with the same radius. I'll come to A. Then I'll draw the other circle too. This way. Now, where the circle intersects, this will be my point C, and this will be what my point D. Can I see that? Now, with the same radius of AB, I'm going to place it at D here, right? And I'm going to reference A. I'll draw another circle this way. I might not complete it, I'll just draw it this way, right? So let me just show you. If I like, I might not complete it, I'll just draw it this way. So this is what we have here. You like you can complete it if you like you cannot complete it so where the circle intersects each other here will be my point what e and here will be what my point what f now with the distance with the reference c and b and d i'll draw a vertical line right the vertical line we cut through this arc where it cuts through this arc here you call it point what point g now with reference eg or with reference fg i'll draw a line this way passing through g from f and i'll have this this way so where the line intersect the circle also i will have in point what h Right? Similarly, from point E passing through G, I'll draw a line also and it'll give me point what? Point I. Now we're not taking A and H together this way. A and H together this way. And also taking 
B and I together this way. You can see that? Now with the same radius of AB, I'll place it at I. I will strike an arc on your this point here. I'll come here also. I'll strike another arc this way. So where they meet will be point what? Point G. So I'm going to connect H and J together this way. And I and G together this way. Now, this is what I'm having. This is how you construct a pentagon. Now, there are other methods that which you can use to construct this pentagon by clicking on this link at the top right corner here to take you to a general method in constructing any kind of what polygon. So we proceed. Now I've drawn the pool, the pentagon. What I need is the pentagon. Now recall that I extended from A B extend the line. Let's assume this is the line already extended. So let me just do that again. So you're going to see that you extend it. This is the line I've extended. Let me extend it to so you see exactly what I am doing. So I have extended it. You can see that. The next thing again, I'm going to extend HA. So I will extend HA from here to here. This will be my HA. HA this way. You can see that. I've extended it. The next one I will extend will be HJ again. Can see that? The next now we stand will be H I J this way. Let me use a longer one. The next now we'll do will be B I this way. So this is what we have now with reference a B right reference a B you draw an arc this way you taking it so where the arc cuts this line here, I'm going to call it radius 1. You can see that? Now, I'm going to extend the compass to move towards the ending of that line. This is the line. Towards the ending here is H. I will extend it to R1. Right? I'm going to extend it to what? To R1 this way. To so reference R1, I'll draw another arc this way. Touch the other line or taking the line, so where it touches that line will be R2, radius 2. Right? So I'll move towards the end of that line again. I will extend it from J towards R2. You can see that? So when I do that, I'm going to. Extend it where it cuts the other line will be R3. Right now, I'm going to extend it again to the end of this line to this point here. But before I do that, I'd like to bring this down a little bit. Right. Let me take this down a little bit this way so we we'll see exactly what we want. Now, 
with radius towards this ending here i'll take you to r3 from i to r3 right i'll draw another arc this way can you see that and that will be r4 right don't forget the pentagon has five sides so i'll do the entire five side then i'll extend it again to this point so let me move this towards this side now i'll come from b here beginning here to what r4 here you can see that and i'm going to do this And when it cuts the horizontal line back, will be my arrow what? Arrow 5. So what I just successfully draw is called the involute of a pentagon. Right? You know a pentagon has five sides. So you're going to click, use all the five lines, ensure that you get what? The involute of the pentagon. Right? So you can... Click this link at the top right corner of the screen to take you to a place where you are going to learn how to draw the involute of a triangle. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.